Hey y'all, what's up? So today I am going to replace the items in the fridge that I never replaced from after the storm. Put on my big girl panties today and was like, okay, for real? <laughs> like you gonna just keep living like this? I'm not gonna even show you because it's embarrassing. But um, yeah, I'm gonna put on my big girl panties and we're gonna get some groceries. I think I'm gonna run by the, well, let's see, the Indian grocery um, for, um, paprika i want to run by that for paprika but i really don't need anything else so i feel like should i just go in that store for one thing you know it's enough going on maybe i'll just pick up some at um aldi for right now but my jar is actually like really really um empty and i do use it um so i might just pick up a small container for now but everything else is pretty much full in here um i just kind of went through the pantry to see if there's anything we need to replace. I need some rice. Um, I told you all we like the certain rice we get from um, Aldi and um, we have that other rice for emergencies but y'all it just, I don't know. It ain't the same so I'm gonna get some rice. So coffee bean is looking pretty good. Can't buy that from the store anyway. Tea bean perfect. We just replaced that with y'all the other day. My nuts are still looking good so we don't need nuts. This is like my emergency coffee, y'all. I use it though. Um, we do need creamer and the kids have snacks. Is that loud noise? Something's wrong with my dry girl. So I gotta have somebody come out and look at it. Um, I know the kids need like yogurts and all that kind of stuff and this thing, it's pretty much empty. But we cleaned it out real good. So uh, creamer, yogurts, like everything refrigerator. I'm fine on pantry. We went shopping for pantry. Um, it's just a few little things I would pick up here and there, but for the most part, pantry is like solid. I'm thankful, blessed, grateful for this pantry. Um, on this side, I don't think I need anything. Maybe some more turbinado sugar. Um, they just need to replace what goes in here. They can do that while I'm gone. And it's looking a little skimpy down there, but that's because, you know, when I did the pantry video, we took items from this side and moved it here. So I'm going to have the girls go ahead and do this while I'm gone and um, probably just clean out the refrigerator, girl, because uh, whatever. Uh, this is the refrigerator. <laughs> That's what it looks like. It is what it is. I mean, if we got like fruit in here that needs to be thrown away, yeah, oh well. Time to replace this food in my refrigerator. So come hang out with me today. Why not? All right, y'all, so I just made it home, and the groceries are out on the table. I think I'm going to do a fud today. I was going to do um, the chicken sandwich, the spicy chicken sandwich with the oyster mushrooms. I may do it later. I'm just not really in the mood for it at all, like the cooking part of it. So I kind of just want to throw everything into, like, the pressure cook and let it cook, cook fu, and then do some noodles or something. I still haven't eaten. It's like 2 o'clock. Um... Yeah, so this is everything. I'm going to uh, just show you what I got. All right, so let's get started on this end. So I went to the Asian market, and it's called 99 Cent Ranch. That's when I went to. So I got some rice noodles, and these are the rice sticks. I'll be using these for um, probably the pho today. Probably so. I'll probably use those. And then I always get the flower sticks. People always ask me which ones I get. And these are the ones I get. 
I think they're like $3.99 for this container, but this is one like family sitting for us. And I should have got two packs, but girl, yeah. End up getting um, some of the snap peas from them. Sweet peas uh, from them. They were $1.99 for this bunch. And then I got the um, bok choy. Is it bok choy? Which one is this? This is, uh, I know this is a small one because I'm just going to rinse and chop this for the show today. I got some purple sweet potatoes. So I don't know if I want to um, cook them for myself to eat or actually let them sprout so I can grow them. That's why I bought them ready to grow them, but they're so good. Kind of want to eat them. So I might just let them sprout and grow them. So that, that might be on my grow list. Some ginger. They always had the best ginger. Big, huge. Ooh, they always had the best. I think I'm just going to um, shred it and jar it or something. We'll see. I did get the oyster mushrooms. This is a different brand than what I normally get. But um, this is what they had. And I really didn't feel like going nowhere else, y'all. So this will make one, two, three, four, maybe five chicken sandwiches. But anyway. And then, of course, I love the vegetarian mushroom uh, flavor stir fry sauce. I love putting that in like different things. So that's that. This is guinea pig food. They forgot to put up. I have um, some apples. They had pink lady apples on sale. I think it was two twenty five. So I ended up getting two bags of those. I'm gonna have them wash those real quick. End up getting green apples for my juice. Um, oh, I forgot to get the N Nutella stuff. I get it tomorrow. All right, so navel oranges at all of these was like under, it might have been $2 for these, y'all. They was on sale. Carrots for $1.50, so I grabbed two bags of these. Uh, the carrots we had went kind of bad after the um, refrigerator was out for so long. Um, yeah, so I just grabbed two bags of those. We do put carrots in pho, our salads, juice, the guinea pigs. <laughs> y'all know all right, my favorite, spinach and arugula. I, I don't like going a day without it. Either I cook with it or I eat it. So two bins, and unfortunately, everything that was growing in the garden is dead. All right, so then my kombucha. This is what I'm drinking today. This one's but orange, carrot, and ginger. This one's really good, so I'm going to down that one. They have some um, um, black grapes. We call them moon drops, the ones that look like um, these. They had these. So, I think this whole bag was $3. Um, yeah, they might have been on sale. Had I known they were on sale, I probably would have bought more. But a lot of the stuff, they only let you buy so much of right now. Because we had to share with others. Because, like, they didn't have any meat there. Um, Harley, they had some fish. But then they really didn't. They had frozen food for meat. But no milk or anything like that. It was kind of like, you know, bare. I mean, it's to be expected right now. Uh, peaches, because I'm going to do a peach cobbler today. So this is just like your peaches in a can. They didn't have any fresh peaches. And I just wanted to be simple and do a fake dump today. I'll probably do that with y'all today. We have some green grapes. I was just in the store. You know, I was hungry. <laughs> Let's keep it real. I didn't eat before I left. So I want to eat this right now. But I can't because they need to be washed. All right. Um mini uh cucumbers so i got these you know I like this cut these in half sea salt and then i use the um nothing but the bagel everything but the bagel season some jalapenos for my uh, pico um cheating today gonna use this pie crust cheating today gonna use cinnamon roll dough instead of making my own for the peach cobbler i got the broccoli for like eating salads and then for my pho today um, some cilantro for my pho, some cilantro for my pico. I don't even think that's enough. And then mushrooms. I'm going to put mushrooms in for today and then mushrooms to eat off of. So I end up getting, um, uh, four packs of those. I did get the kids, um, some of this French vanilla as promised for their hot chocolates and whatever else they want to put them in because, listen, I, they just can't keep drinking up all my almond creamers. Like, this is ridiculous. Um, they just overpour and they like the dairy and it's, it doesn't bother their stomach so they can have it. Um, oat milk, I only got one. I think the minimum, the max was two, I want to say. And I was like, well, we're going to live off one. I mean, I'm not just trying to take everything, you know, that kind of thing. Spinach, I got two bags until I can get the Costco and get the big container. You know, we cook with this. We put this in everything. I mean, salads, spaghetti, pastas, whatever. Um, 
two packs of green onions. One are going to the pho today. Um, two containers of eggs. I think that was the max today too. So I just got a regular one and then cage free. I know we had the whole um, <laughs> debate. I just stopped responding <laughs> on the eggs being dairy. Okay, so listen. I I think I was so lethargic. I was so out of it. I'm, I thought I was saying meat product, meat byproduct or whatever. <laughs> And I kept saying dairy on the video where I was saying that I thought that eggs were dairy. Why would this thing say it's non-dairy? But I want to say that that bar even said it was a vegan bar. I don't know, y'all. The over easy bars. And I kept saying if it has egg whites in it, how could it be vegan? Yeah, uh, it just says gluten free something. So I don't think it says vegan. I don't know. I don't really even remember. Yeah, it says no dairy, no soy. And somebody was telling me that eggs isn't dairy. Girl, okay. Let me tell you. <laughs> I have had a week, okay? I don't even remember half the stuff I said on that live. I don't. Someone actually called me. I was like, do you know you said it? And I was like, no, I don't. And I'm not going to rewatch it. Because whatever I said and felt at that moment, I spoke it, okay? I ain't taking it back. <laughs> All right, so two packs of buns, one for our chicken sandwiches, one for a sloppy joe tomorrow for the kids. Um, then they have um, some tortillas for whatever, girl, breakfast sandwiches. You know how they get down. Some steak fries for our chicken sandwiches. I think we have some other steak fries or french fries tomorrow they can have with their sloppy joes if they choose. Or um, whatever they want with it, girl, we'll work it out, okay? I did buy wine. I told you I stopped drinking wine. Really haven't drank anything except for one thing uh, since, like, Thanksgiving. <laughs> One was for my birthday with two, twice. One was for my birthday, and then one, I think when the lights came on, okay? I had a glass of wine. I was like, I can't. So I picked up some red wine. This is a semi-sweet. Um, I don't remember if I've had this one before. It's Aldi's. I probably have had everything from Aldi's. And this is a Brut Rosé. Um, this is a sparkling rosé wine. So I'll be drinking that today. All right. Not the whole bottle, though. <laughs> She's fine. I promise. She's fine. She just needs a drink every once in a while. I don't even need it. I want it. All right. Let's keep it real. Sriracha. I don't think I have hardly any left because now everybody else in the house wants it. Paprika because I told y'all we don't have any. I like a little smoke on my fries. Um, Agave. My teas. Y'all know I've just been sucking them down every night. And then uh, some cheese. They got some shredded cheese. Kobe. And some shredded mild. So hopefully this lasts them more than a week, two weeks or so. Um, we got the rice that my kids really, really love. We might even do a stir fry this week, girl. Yeah, I might do a stir fry and let Tara, teach Tara how to do the stir fry uh, for the um, with the chicken chicken fried rice. I did get roasted garlic and the spicy one. For hummus, um, they'll be doing a charcuterie board this week, I'm sure. The temperatures have changed drastically. We were at 74 today. <laughs> okay. Okay. Anyway, unsalted butter. We have yogurt, uh, a whole tray of uh, yogurts for them for their refrigerator, for the mini fridge, blueberry, strawberry, cherry, peach, and strawberry banana. Hopefully this will hold them this week. And then some olive oil. For some apparent reason, Christopher's been saying when he eats yogurt, it makes his stomach hurt. And I don't really eat yogurt unless it's the vegan yogurt that's non-dairy. Or every once in a while, I do the Greek yogurt. Every once in a while. But um, sometimes my head of yogurt with all those fruits in it, they make my stomach feel a certain type of way too. So it's really weird. But anyway, um, that's pretty much it that I got. I think I shared with you all everything else the other day. I don't even remember. But we're going to go ahead and try to... Wash all this and put it in the refrigerator. That's what we need to do. And actually, they were supposed to wipe down the refrigerator for me. So I think they did. So now we have a clean slate. We can start filling up the refrigerator. I'm getting started on the pho. And I have um, two onions to cut in half. I have some star anise in here. I have some ginger. I'm just going to kind of like char that on both sides. Um, before I add any liquids. I don't know where the top went. Oh, it's over here. While they are um, washing all the fruit and putting everything up. Let me just put this on for right now. Um, 
No, I, I'm going to use that. All right, I went ahead and added some um, garlic in here too. Let's go ahead and stir it up a little bit. So we can start adding um, everything in here. I think need to flip these over. That's my do. Flip these over. Flip over the ginger. Alright, so I'm adding a cinnamon stick. I can't get the olive oil open. I'm going to have to get somebody to open it for me. This thing just a little bit. Because for some reason this thing is spinning. I can't get it open. Just have to cut it maybe. Yeah. Alright, so I am adding one vegetable broth. And I'm going to fill this container with uh, water. Alright, so I'm going to scrape all that stuff that was at the bottom. It looked like burnt. I'm going to scrape all that. I'm going to let this do its thing for a little while. Then I'm going to come back. I'm gonna let it boil, I should say. So we need to add some seasons. I think I'm gonna add like sea salt. I don't really have a lot of Asian seasons anymore. Um, I'm not really worried about garlic because we got garlic in there. I think I'm just gonna add the salt because um, what do we have over here? Yeah, no salt something. Because everything else is like already seasoned. The onions, the um, garlic, the ginger, the anise, it's like that's enough by itself. So, all right, so while the fuzz going, they're on the dish duty or whatever, I'm gonna get started on the cobbler. It's just a real simple peach cobbler. I'm just gonna use four of these cans of the um, light syrup peaches, is what they have. But uh, we're gonna get some, a stick of butter in here. We're just using butter, brown sugar, and um, peaches. Butter, brown sugar, peaches, and probably like regular sugar, just a little bit, not a lot. I'm gonna go ahead and add um, two cups of this to the, to the um, butter, or maybe like one and a half cups, it looks like a lot. A brown sugar. Um, to the butter. That's all I'm doing. And then we're gonna cut. See, this, the peaches I have are not that heavy syrup piece, so this is gonna give me my, you know, my heavy syrup. I mean, plus cornstarch. Cornstarch will give the heavy syrup too. Syrup too. Four cans or two big cans, either one. We got the little cans. Uh, we got what they had. And yes, we wiped off the top of the cans. Somebody's probably gonna wonder. some it's the sugar the butter the peaches let it do its thing uh, for a few minutes and then I'll go back through and um, add the cornstarch so it's a little cornstarch and a little water just to kind of thicken it up some so you can have it like syrupy like syrup not just like thin syrup for the peaches uh, let me just go hmm, that'll let me know if this is sweet enough child this I don't want it too sweet. No, no. Mm. Would they like it like that? They probably want more sugar. You want my kids. 
Let me get the regular sugar. Then I'm adding about three fourths cup to this of regular sugar. No more sugar, no more sugar, no more sugar. Yeah. Gray's grapes are good. I'm so hungry. Okay, so I've been doing this for years. Y'all seen me do this like how many times? A thousand and one. I use this for the innards of the beach cobbler. Yes, it's cinnamon roll dough. Sometimes I just make it myself, but I make my own dough, but she's not in the mood, child. So, we are going to open this up. I'm not getting a tripod. I'm sorry, y'all. There's too much going on. And we're going to put this in here first. So it can cook some. Because what we don't want to do is have it raw. How do we do it? You can lay it flat. Why is it not unrolling? It's not unrolling right, y'all. Or you can just unroll it like this. I just flatten it out as I go, like this, right? And I'm just gonna lay one layer and I'm gonna do the rest. Then I'm gonna come back and show you um, what it looks like unrolled and, or you can just lay them like flat, like flat in the pan. All right, so that's what it looks like. I just kind of rolled them out. I'm gonna put them in the oven, just long enough for them to cook like halfway and puff up, right? So it's not just so raw because they're gonna get wet and soggy from the peaches anyway. So um, once they puff up, then I'll come back and show you what I'm talking about. All right, so I took some of the juice out of the uh, peach cobbler over there and added like a tablespoon and a half of cornstarch. I'm just going to mix it real good and then add it right back into the um, peach cobbler. All okay, so I can turn this off. I'm just waiting on the cinnamon rolls to fluff up. All right, so the pho is doing its thing. I have it on 30 minutes, but it don't need 30 minutes. It only needs like a good 20 minutes um, to get all the ingredients like in there. I'm gonna rinse the mushrooms because we definitely put mushrooms in here. I'm gonna put like half a pack of these green onions or uh, maybe not even half, just a few of those sprigs, and then a little bit of cilantro, the broccoli, uh, the uh, leaves, and then um, I have carrots, so I might, mm, do I want to put carrots in there? I probably don't. I don't like shredding them. I'm not going to lie. I'm, um, I'm running on fumes now. <laughs> Eating grapes at whatever time it is, and I haven't eaten this, this crazy, so... All right, so that's there. Um, and then I won't do the noodles until it's time because if I do the noodles now, I'm not gonna taste good. Now I am gonna add some of the um, mushroom sauce or whatever to it because I like the flavor of it a lot. And then when it's time to put it in a bowl, I'll add my red pepper sauce, you know, like I normally do. Yep, she's crashing um yeah all right so i'm gonna hit cancel on here and i'm gonna try to get this steam out um they done did something for this thing um i'm gonna let the steam out so it can like get to where i can um open it up then once i open it up i've already washed the vegetables i have broccoli all right, so I have everything washed and ready to go. The mushrooms, the broccoli, the green leaves, uh, cilantro, everything's in here. I'm just going to dump that in there and let it uh, like build up pressure again or whatever. It doesn't take long to put those vegetables in there for it to be ready. I don't feel like chopping no green onions or nothing. So the green onions are in here. A few more of these Chinese leaves are in here. Some carrots are in there my um, avocados and jalapenos and then on this side we have some more mushrooms uh, cucumbers and tomatoes from when i went to um girl costco so my a friend of mine was costco and she brought me those and then we have um the apples the oranges grapes 
some more apples. All right, and then moving up here, I guess they opened some peaches um, to go with their lunch or something today because there's peaches in there, some lunch. Oh, that's bacon. This is turkey bacon. Okay. Child, they got all kinds of stuff over there. You know, that's they tray. We got some, the snap peas. What is this? Oh, this is uh, blackberries and blueberries. These are the oyster mushrooms. That's what that is. This tray right here is just nothing. Just, uh, <laughs> it's hummus and cheese. I think they just put the stuff in the wrong spot, but that's okay. I'm just gonna move this and put the oyster, oyster mushrooms in here and I'll just fix these probably for tomorrow. Okay, let's get these out the way. And then that way they can have their cheese. I don't feel like putting it in a container right now. They can do that later. That's no big deal. Sorry for moving the camera. This is our lettuce, spring mix. And then that's our spinach and arugula. They had some sauce stuffed over this week when they did their little meaty pieces. These are like our jars of jalapenos and stuff. And then like their dairy container. Um, up here, it's like my juice containers. It's just carrots, ginger more ginger that's all that is and then this can be laid down flat too i think they just put it in here and this is just some more spinach like to cook with i think they just kind of laid it in here but i just like the top uh to be open so um eric can circulate like all the way around so they have their eggs up here um i don't even know if the camera's on y'all so this is what I mean. So it's fluffed up. It's pretty much cooked, y'all. I never cook it this far, but it's all good. I'm just gonna take this pot and pour it into here. All right, so we're not doing no fancy um, lattice work today, honey. Today we're just laying these things in here. So we can get this in the oven and let it bake. I don't know. I normally let it bake 35, 40 minutes. I don't know. I just kind of go back and forth and look. Today I need to set a timer because I have a feeling I might doze off. I just cut up the dough and these little bit of strips. Because we got plenty of dough on the inside. We got whole cinnamon rolls on the inside, girl. Clean on the inside, cream on the outside. All right, nothing too pretty. I'll probably do a little um, egg wash on top, egg whites, and brush it on and call it a day. Um, all right, so I am going to take out the ginger and, um, girl, I'll tell you, sometimes I just wonder. I'm gonna take the ginger out and the um, anise if I can find it. This is the ginger. And that's the other. It's so good. Y'all, this is so good. Look how dark it is. This is how you know. Like, you know, you know. Mm. Anyway, I'm gonna add about a tablespoon of this in here. That's the tablespoon. Okay, maybe two. I don't have no let me stir it right now. Hold on. Oh, this is gonna be so good. I ain't gonna put all these vegetables in here. Some of these vegetables not going just like in the bowl. You know what I mean? As you eat them. As you eat the broth, rather. Oh, I'm about to say some of this for later. I want all these mushrooms in here. I'm hoping we still have liquid when it's done. I thought I made more than that, but I guess I didn't. Mm. All right, so with the rice noodles, I'm just gonna put them in the um, pot and it doesn't take long at all. Once the water boils, you put these in here for a few minutes, take them right back out. <laughs> Like, they didn't thin, so they cook like super duper stupid fast. Like, yeah, like really, really fast.
I'm about to do this a couple times today. You can just put them in a bowl of hot water too and let them do his thing real quick. If you want to do that, you don't have to put them in a pot. All right, so real quick, I cook them for about two minutes, take them out, run them in cool water, and then I put just a little bit of olive oil on it so they don't um, stick. So now I'm into batch number two. And we're gonna do the same thing. Get them until they're like cooked real quick. I could turn this off. God dang it. I could turn this off. And then I'm gonna pour this water out, drain them, put them in cool water real quick, like run cool water so I can stop the cooking process. Spray them with a little olive oil and that's it. That's all I'm doing so they won't stick. All right. Finally time to eat. So I'm just gonna grab some noodles. Put them in my my big old soup bowl. I want a lot. Don't please don't. <laughs> well, I don't care if you judge me or not. Let's let let's keep it real. But these are my noodles. I want to put this back on. Let's turn the oven light on. Ooh, that thing is looking good up in there. Oven light didn't even come on. Mm. Well, must need a new bulb. All right, so let's ladle some of this soup in here so your girl can eat. Your girl can eat. Here it is. Yep. <laughs> don't pay me no mind, y'all. Please don't pay me no mind. I know I was supposed to take the green out and not leaving the green in. I know, I know. Trust me, I know. But I like it cooked all the way. I don't like it when it's like fresh like that. Alright, so here is my pho for today. Girl, this thing is popping, piping hot. I might have to use a fork because she's hungry. A fork with my sticks. A fork with my sticks and a spoon, girl. Don't forget the spoon for you. Put it all up in there. Put it all up in there for real. All right, so I think I'm going to, um, mm, how much time we got? 30 seconds. I think we're going to put this on for about four more minutes. So before I drink my wine, I'm going to drink some water. This is going to be drank before the other night. Y'all you know I go through water like crazy. Now, earlier I did go to TJ Maxx across from um, the uh, Chinese market. And I did get um, some more brushes for the sink. We need a new one. And um, we actually use these for like oranges, apples, that kind of thing when we clean them and then some more of these I needed another better one so I got that um, so we can throw this one yeah see how we use this to death child we use this for um oh wait does this screw off <gasps> this screws off I could have got another one well it doesn't matter it's all good Girl, I struggle with getting this uh, top out, <laughs> this uh, cork out. It better be good. All right, we're going to put over here for a minute. It's a little fizzy, which means I ain't let it breathe longer. Now. Oh, girl, this is good. Oh, this is good. What is this? 
Cortabella. Okay, semi sweet. Girl, she's sweet. Well, she's sweet to me. She might not be as sweet to other people, but she's sweet to me. So, evidently, I need new wine bottle opener. So. <laughs> y'all I'm waiting on this peach copper so I can sit down I'm just saying it's so good like it's worth the wait I could eat that whole pot by myself <laughs> I'm not even lying I tried to get as much as I could before they came down here because they're going to eat it all up. They, they love it. They love it. Mm, mm, mm. You know, I could let it brown just a little bit more. I might. I hear you. I hear you. Yeah. Oh, but it's cut. I guess cut. Uh-huh. 